Hey, I just wanted to share my trip to the Makeup Show LA. I hear it's the first time the Makeup Show ever came to Los Angeles, so I'm glad I was able to go and experience it. It was basically like, to me, it reminded me of like a tiny compressed or I guess like a smaller version of the IMAT, which is the International Makeup Artist Trade Show that comes once a year to Pasadena. Yeah, like I was saying, I, oh, first of all, if you want to know what I use on my eyes, I'm going to I'm going to share that at the end, and where I got my contacts in. I mean, where I got my contacts from, too, because I got a lot of questions about that. Anyway, so the makeup show. Just, like, a whole bunch of different, like, brands and vendors and all that stuff, just all together, and it was held at the California Marketplace in downtown L.A., and, yeah, that's pretty much it. They had little seminars going on, like, Eve Pearl was there, and I actually saw... Um, at Eve Pearl's, like, little booth for her makeup and supplies and such, they had a little laptop going of, like, her putting makeup on, I guess, like, in one of her videos or DVDs, and Persuas was on there getting her makeup done, so that was pretty cool. I was like, oh my god, it's Persuas. <laughs> I went with my friend Anna. So she was my buddy, and a lot of people came up to me and were like, oh my god, hi. I was like, oh, how nice, because apparently, apparently, like, when people come up to me, I get really, like, nervous, because I don't know, I don't know what to say, just, I feel, I get, like, really hot, so I start, like, fanning myself with, like, whatever piece of paper I happen to have in my hand, but apparently I told everyone to come up and say hi. I don't remember saying that, but I really do, like, it is nice to have people come up and say hi to me, and you know, start talking about makeup, so I really like it, so to all the people that I met on Sunday, or today, Sunday, thank you for saying hi, and hi again, and thank you for watching my videos, and I was just really, um, I was really surprised, I guess, to hear, like, still positive feedback from actual people, like, seeing them, touching them, like, shaking their hand, and seeing their faces, and hearing their voices, instead of just, like, little words on the screen, so that was really cool, and, um, I appreciate it, everyone was very nice, and I'm just very thankful, they're like, oh, thank you so much for what you're doing, and, um, keep making your videos, so I appreciate it, and, yeah, I appreciate everyone watching and supporting, so, yeah, all right, Okay, so let me talk about what I got. Nigel's was there. So at Nigel's, I got, I took advantage of the 40% off for Makeup Forever, and I got my Duo Matte. Oops. This is my Duo Matte Powder Foundation. I am shade 214, if anyone's interested. And I got, this is their new um, sculpting kit. I have the old one, aka the old formula, and the smaller ones. These I mean, bigger ones. These are way tinier than the original ones, but the same colors, but the texture of it is so creamy. It's amazing. And we had asked the lady at Makeup Forever, is it a different formula? What's the deal? And she said, this one is silicone-based, so it, like, just, it glides on like butter. It's ridiculous, so. Got a discount on that. Very excited to use it on my client. I didn't buy too much because I kind of don't have too much money right now. Plus, I didn't see a lot of things that I felt were really necessary to buy. There are a lot of mineral, like loose mineral powder and like eyeshadow and stuff like that. And it's all like private label stuff anyway, so I didn't like get too crazy. Cinema Secrets was there, Namie's was there, Friends was there, Nigel's was there, a bunch of other like little things. Crown Brush was there, that was pretty fun. I got a ton of disposable mascara wands for I think it was like 25 wands for like three dollars. That's insane. And then the last thing that I bought, see, I didn't really get a lot because I didn't, I, like I said, I wasn't, there wasn't a lot of stuff like, I was like, oh my god, like I need that. What is that? That's so new. I need that. I did have that reaction to these lip, I don't know, lip glosses, lipstick in a gloss. They're called lip tars. I was drawn to the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics little boost deal because I saw a very familiar face 
It was Maxi from the Lifetime show Blush, the search for the next great makeup artist. I instantly like recognized his face. I was like, oh, it's Maxi, the like hilarious guy from Blush who had like the Mary Poppins umbrella and the crazy hats and the curly hair and the little electronic fan. Oh my god! And like everyone was writing up to him like, oh, can okay, we take a picture with you? And I was standing there going, oh my gosh, please, like, please, can I be next? I really want to take a picture. Stay next to you. And then I was like, oh, can I just take a picture of you by yourself? So, he actually introduced me to this product right here. Because he put it on his hand and was like, get ready. Like, you like this is, this is new and like, just prepare yourself. I seriously, like, my heart stopped when I saw him just demonstrate on his hand. It was... <laughs> It's ridiculous. The color payoff, but it's not like gooey and drippy and creasy and gross. It's like amazing. This is called Lip Tar by Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. And here's like the violet purple one. I'll show you on my hand. So there it is. But wait. It it's just so like creamy and spreadable and glossy at the same time. But it does not crease. And I just used a tiny bit. That was a tiny bit. And here's my favorite one, the pink one. It's like super glossy. But it's not like creasing, as you can see. And it's not sheer. It's just like a solid, solid lip pigment. This is more of a a neutral. Oh, I can't wait to like use it. Use these on my clients. More like a neutral, like rosy pink beige, and they had like a red one. I swear, it was like blood. It l it was like the color of br blood, and it was so rich and glossy. <gasps> oh my gosh, it was so nice. So this was definitely a highlight, and definitely worth going to the makeup show. That's pretty much it. That's all I got because like I said I didn't see too much. I personally I would rather go and save my money to go to the IMAX because it's only like ten dollars to get in and it's like five times bigger than the makeup show and the makeup show I ended up paying forty dollars for it. So moving on to what I have on my eyes right now. First of all my contacts they're green. I got a lot of questions about them from my Cow Lily video. I got these in downtown LA for five dollars. They came in little sterile containers like individual sterile containers so yeah downtown LA in the alleys. Okay to start with my eyes I have I have on Max Chartreuse pigment on the inner corners and on the bottom here. And then all over like this area, this is my new absolute favorite, like hands down, new favorite green eyeshadow. This is Face Front's Fluid Path. And then for the purple, I use Makeup Forever Purple. This is 92. For the highlight, I use a little bit of Face Front Formerly Yours. This is a blush that I just used as a highlight. And then lastly, I use this Nano Gold from this MAC bud. So that's all from my experience at the makeup show, LA. I went on Sunday, which is March 15th. So. Yep, that is all. I know it doesn't make up for actually being there, but I did the best I could. I tried to take as many pictures, but there wasn't that much to photograph except for like a random body painting or body art thing. And that is intense. If you really could not to go, I would die. Not too many places to walk around. We ended up walking around in circles for a while, actually. So, that is it. Hope you enjoyed my little piece of the makeup show. Alright, bye. Okay, the day's over. We're leaving. Say goodbye. Bye.